to educate, get ready, prepare, prime, train and tutor. So this is room. The trends Okay, this is professional front. Poor results in professional competitions. Failure in BPT. This is talking about our own officers. Poor results in professional competitions. Failure in uh, battle PT. <coughs> Small arm firing. Misbehavior with seniors. Ego issues with W2 executives. Abuse in juniors. Cyber leaks. AWO oil result in emotional breakdown. And suicidal attempts sometimes. And personal front. Cheating in professional exams, stealing, addiction to liquor, social networking, uh, driving accidents, <coughs> then uh, marital disputes, incident with women affairs, UN of, uh, uh, unofficial like uh, conduct in public, and they gain, again demonize it. These are the trends that we find today. Then uh, the stakeholders of institutions having direct impact on Bhumi, CO is the most important uh, in this grooming part. We have 30% and Kalat Regiment, 5%, SLMA, that is 20, unit, 20%, Regimental Center, 10%, and School of Instruction, 15%. So these have to get together for grooming of uh, officers. Then uh, this is, uh, I compare this just uh, uh, that is 1982 2015. Army is an adventure in 1980, now Army is a career. And, uh, uh, in 1980, command of unit is ultimate, now desire to career. And uh, earlier, in 1980, mature, now it is restless and impulsive. 1980 spoken, when speak when not spoken to, to be seen, not heard. Today, more initiative, not afraid to air his views. Well, I think content that he compete and this is uh, materials, uh, worldly, worldly, they know, so sophisticated. Then high moral and ethics, how it is low moral and ethics. Then weak uh, financial management, then now it is good financial management. And then high physical efficiency standards, loan technology. Now it is low on physical efficiency standards and high technology. And cocoon, then now it is more well. So this is the comparison from then to now. So, uh, grooming, poor intake, recruitment, and then training standard at ac academies must be taken care of. And then uh, shortage of officers in the units. That is, uh, and then increased commitment of the units. Those number is less than increased commitment are there. And then uh, absence of an organic, organic system for organized system <coughs> grooming. That is also important. And generations 2020, their attitude, beliefs, aspirations are uh, different. And the impact of technology and changing societal norms. Impediments to grooming of officers in the unit lines. Shortage of officers is the biggest problem as you all are discussing the commanding officers. And then rest is as uh, flashed. And then again, officers are burned with other duties outside the unit lines. Therefore, the grooming proper cannot be taken place. So these are the impediments to grooming officers in the unit line. Okay, now that this is your responsibility, gentlemen, most of the commanding officers, the com I, as I said, the grooming is a uh, command responsibility. But we are all model, this is not the group. Professionally competent, physically fit, honesty and integrity, correct behavior at all time, social grace, confident, quick decision making. These are the these are these two main these things make to a role model. And then uh, provide uh, provide the right environment for professional personal development. You have to provide that and then provide opportunity for them to boom and then guide, reward and punish. I think you understand this. Give a positive stroke, that means when they are doing the right thing, you must raise them and then encourage decision making should not be fear of failure and you must accept their mistakes error of judgment or motive to be understood trust subordinate unless they prove otherwise
accept healthy healthy criticism or dissent encourage officers to question say no but demand a solution as well so that they create their own solution for that and then encourage humor avoid sarcasm have you come to the conclusion gentlemen the attitude required of commanders and by the command philosophy should be inculcated at the earliest stage of an officer's career i said this is command philosophy is the uh, the training uh, system that i told this has to be inculcated in officer's career in the beginning and arms schools and colleges to develop this as to be attributes in commanders from the most junior to the most senior during courses and training and then the process should be continuous throughout an individual's career and superiors have to play their part in developing their subordinates qualities as commander through training and coaching grooming and officer is a command responsibility there are no good or bad units there are no good bad or different officers with that lady and gentlemen i have come to the end of my lectures i have taken exactly half an hour the time allocated for me if you have any questions you may ask